Hi everybody, Minister of Defense here. Um, I just wanted to share with you a new toy that I bought in celebration of our national or international Buy a Gun Day that everyone's been talking about. Uh, in opposition of the UN's National International Destroy a Gun Day, whatever that thing is, uh, some of us more rebellious Americans have decided to have a national Buy a Gun Day. So, in celebration of that, I have made a purchase, and I just wanted to share it with you. So, this is my National Buy a Gun Day contribution. This is the gun that I'm contributing to the cause. Bought myself a long gun. Nice British rifle. Number four, Mark One, Early 1941 example. With a few slightly newer additions. What would I look like as a British foot soldier in 1941, marching through a field? Well, let me think. In 1941, where were the British fighting? They were probably fighting in North Africa and almost nowhere else. So I'm wondering if my new Enfield, which is not new at all, but a 1941 example of the number 4 Mark I, was used in combat anywhere. Now, I had a video earlier that was showing a... SMLE from 1917 Birmingham Arms, that was a friend of mine, we were shooting that, and that's a wonderful gun. And this is the natural evolution of the Enfield line, the difference between 1917 and 1941. They made some changes in the configuration. You Enfield guys know all about this. You guys have used these guns in the service. Uh, the Brits and Australians and New Zealanders and... I don't know where else, India, some other places, I suppose. But uh, for us Americans, these are kind of interesting and exotic guns, and uh, I just wanted to show it a little bit. I'd be a terrible soldier because I'm a fat guy. I like to shoot, but I don't like to march. This has a brass butt plate that was mostly replaced by, I think, zinc ones as the war went on to save costs because brass is expensive. This is a very early example of the model, so I was pretty happy about that. It's got the original blacking, pretty good shape. You notice the muzzle change from the old SMLEs. Um, the, the wood, the stock, the furniture is partially original and partially repaired. The butt stock is original. And I think this wood up top is original, and then this bottom part has been replaced. And also, I don't have original sights. Let me flip this up. These sights are, these peep sights are from a number four Mark III. Is this blade sharp? Uh, am I stuck? Dabbing a Japanese sniper in the tree? No, not really. And I also have a bayonet for it, which is a um, a blade bayonet, which most of the World War II models didn't have. That was another expediency. They replaced the blade with the spike for most of the war years. Sawing through a tree with my bayonet. Uh, one of the things that was changed about the design of the Enfield was you have a much longer sight radius on the uh, the number fours, and then I mean rather than a much longer sight radius than you had on the SMLEs. Fat guys purchasing guns. Fat guys purchasing guns. Ever try to film yourself holding your camera and a rifle at the same time? This has been an installment of Fat Guys Not Shooting. Fat guy showing off the guns. Hope you enjoyed it. This hurts my head. Bye.